So it's the Mick the Tent Novice Handicap Chase. Next then, two miles and five furlongs, class two handicap. Top one is Wolf Tone, Paul Rhodes, Death Star, Jim Murray, Indisputable, Leon Van Rensburg, Comfort Zone, Graham Clutterbuck, Teresina, D. Thompson, Bright Mask, S. Grey, Last Ben, Charlie, Rubies for You, D. French, Shine C, Derek Hinton, Burt, C. Clark, Tragic Ridge, P. K. Hill, Enter Dragon, James Shea, Barking, Joshua Sutherland, Classic Example, Kevcon, Leather Winning, Doug Warren, and Mangold, Darren Howells, Aura Touch Slip, Ben Benici is the bottom one. Away they go then. And. I think it's a particularly long run to the first as they come to it. Who's going to take over that one in the lead? It's going to be Teresina and Indisputable, I think, with Last Ben on the inside. We also see Last Ben back and racing as well. So, double bonus already. And Teresina and Last Ben will lead us into fence two of the 14. Over that one they go. And safely over that. Not quite sure who Mick the Tent was. I don't know if this is a race that's on in the live stream but if uh, anybody's in there who knows who Mick the Tent was and wants to let me know it'd be nice to know because something uh, I'm aware of as they jump the next one oh, we've lost one there Ruby's for you Ruby's for you has gone the jockey jettisoned out the side door and Bert gave it a bit of a whack as well and has dropped towards the back at a shot as they come to this next one in front of the stands and over that one they go, and they're all safely over that one. And the rain's coming down, but the crowd are out. They wave us past the winning post with a complete circuit to go. And Teresina, Last Ben, and Shine C are showing the way to Bright Mask and Inter Dragon and then Comfort Zone. Over that little bit of a road. And Teresina it is from Last Ben as they come to the next. Now, oh, we've lost a couple there, there's a couple gone, we're racing away from the stand, that's the, the fence as they go away from the stand, and Comfort Zone's gone, and Classic Example's gone, so Comfort Zone was out of his Comfort Zone, and Classic Example did not give a Classic Example about a jump, and we lost another one there as well, Tragic Ridge, so Tragic Ridge has gone as well, so the casualties coming thick and fast in this race, four fallers already, we only had six fences, but it is a novice handicap, of course. So, Teresina takes them along by a couple of lengths to last Ben second. Shine C is third, and Bright Mask is four. Then comes in to Dragon and Barking, and Death Stars after that one. Indisputable in the blue next to the rail as they take the next, and they all skipped over that one nicely. Uh, Bert hasn't been in shot for some time, and I've got a feeling that he may be quite a way behind the others after that mistake earlier on. Teresina, with a mile and a quarter to go, is showing the way to Last Ben. Shine C is third. Then comes Bright Mask and Enter Dragon. Death Star is after that one. Barking is next. Here's fence number eight. Over that one they go. And they're all over that one safely. And only Assume Bert has jumped it safely. I'm not quite sure how far back he is, but it's Teresina that's in the lead. From Shine C. And last, Ben, Bright Mask and Enter Dragon. And Dark Death Star, Barking and Indisputable. As they come to fence number nine. And that well, lunges at that one, I think. Last, Ben was one of the ones that made a mistake. Bright Mask might have been the other. But Teresina are still in the lead by three. Enter Dragon has moved nicely up on the outside. As they come to fence number ten. And over that one they go. We've lost another one there. Or a touch slip has gone. And... Here comes Bert. We can now see Bert at the back of the pack. So Teresina in the lead by a couple of lengths. The main body of the field then are covered by only probably about three or four lengths. There's a gap of about five lengths after them to Man Gold and then Bert as they take the next. And one or two of these novices are giving the fences a bit of a whack. And Teresina is still in the lead. Jockey just pushing it into the next fence as there's four furlongs still to go and this is the third last and Teresina jumped that quickly and nicely Barking's moved through nicely on the outside now then into Dragon and Death Star Shine C is just coming under pressure now Wolf Tone is coming quite wide so is Letham winning Man Gold's going widest of all last Ben's dropped away and is now last as they 
take the second last and Teresina is still in the lead there's only two and a half furlongs to go and Teresina's in front indisputable wolf tone bright mass death star into dragon there's plenty of chances to look at Bert on the outside Bert's come through now as they take the final fence Bert made a mistake that that's the end of him again and bright mask is now back in front bright mask is in the lead bright mask and Teresina bright mask Teresina indisputable they're racing inside the final half a furlong indisputable Teresina is bravely trying to battle back on the inside and here comes Barking up the centre of the track. Barking is going to just get up. And Barking it is who's going to take it. Barking wins it. Teresina is second. Indisputable is third. And Barking came through on the outside and just got up to beat the brave Teresina who tried to make all. And Barking wins it. Teresina second. Indisputable third. Bright Mask was fourth, I think. Into Dragon was fifth, and then Death Star and Burt who ran a strange race. But Barkin wins it for Joshua Sutherland. Teresina second, Indisputable third, Bright Mask fourth. Then Into Dragon, Death Star, Burton Wolf Tone.